Here are our five favorite workshop items for week 58 in no particular order. First up is our first non-set or courier in quite a while. It's Druss the Hazhadel beast mount for Chen, created by Ani Lulz and Zafk. As stated, we try and stay away from singular items because we were typically overloaded with great complete sets each week, but we felt we had to make an exception for this item, which I can easily say is one of the best mounts we've seen so far. This was created for the Polycount monthly challenge for single items, and despite it being awesome, we do still hope that the authors will create the complimentary set for Chen in the future. Second is the Master Weaver set for, well, you guessed it, Weaver. This set was created by the Lannister twins and comes with 5 items including some arms, antenna, legs, abdomen, and new head. I feel that Weaver is a very difficult hero to make items for. This set does a really good job of standing out from the base model and it would be a welcome addition to the shop. Third we have the Admiral of Salt and Sand set for Kunkka created by Swizzle. This set comes with 6 items including some arms, a belt, mantle, shoes, sword, and turban. You regulars will know that I'm a sucker for Middle Eastern sets and this is no exception. We've seen a turban on Chen and I'll admit I wouldn't believe Kunkka could pull it off, but I do stand corrected as he looks really, really good. Imagine his torrent and boat having sand effects instead of water. It's not something Valve will do, but it's still cool to imagine. Next is the Iki Spiritual Implement set for Shadow Shaman created by Vlad the Implier and Ike the Drodage. It comes with 6 items including wands for both hands, a belt, arms, mask, and custom wards for his ultimate. I don't know why, but I'm not a huge fan of the base model for Shadow Shaman. This set does a really good job of hiding the features that I don't like. The mask and wand are great additions as well as the custom plague wards, which I do believe would be the first of its kind for our good friend Rasta. Last but not least is actually a set that came out while we were at TI3 and we just plain missed it. It's the Father of Dragons evolving set for Dragon Knight created by Don Don and the TPL guys. It comes with 6 items including some pauldrons, a helm, sword, shield, tacits, and gauntlets. So by default this Dragon Knight set looks freaking awesome, but as you watch more Premier League games, this set will gain levels, therefore making it look even more epic. We've seen this feature before in a Quap set, but the execution on this one is so much more impressive. Be sure to watch the accompanying video to see the differences in levels more closely.